eight, eight guards, tied me to a chair, butt naked, put me in a shower for so long that I blacked out and I woke up with skin off my arms from the straps. Tiger King Joe Exotic's wild ride came to a screeching halt in January 2020 when he was sentenced to 22 years behind bars for his nefarious plot to take out animal welfare activist Carol Baskin. But recently, his sentence was shortened. Being in prison is one thing, but being in prison and everybody taking your voice away from you is so wrong. Exotic's trial was a high-profile one, and the evidence presented in court was shocking. Prosecutors said that Exotic offered $10,000 to an undercover FBI agent to kill Baskin during a recorded December 2017 meeting. In the recording, he told the agent, just like follow her into a mall parking lot and just cap her and drive off. So where do they have evidence that I offered him $10,000? I asked him how much. He said $10,000. I said, well, I don't have $10,000. Joe Exotic has also spoken out about an alleged 2020 beatdown at the hands of eight correction officers in an Oklahoma jail. In a new audio clip from the Lauren Interviews podcast, Eight, eight guards tied me to a chair butt naked, put me in a shower for so long that I blacked out and I woke up with skin off my arms from the straps. This alleged assault occurred at the Grady County Jail in Oklahoma, where Joe was being held during his federal murder for hire trial. At the time, a rep for the jail declined to comment, but a law enforcement source stated that Joe made the whole thing up and correction officials found no proof of an attack on any of the facility's recorded cameras. Exotic's conviction was not only for the murder for hire plot, but also for killing five tigers, selling tiger cubs, and falsifying wildlife records. These charges were based on the testimony of former employees and business associates of Exotic. They claimed that Exotic had a pattern of mistreating animals, including tiger cubs, that he used in photo ops with paying customers and disposing of animals that were no longer profitable or useful to him. Baskin had been a vocal critic of Exotic's treatment of animals, and it was her criticism that Exotic claim led to his downfall. It's such poetic justice that he's now being kept in a cage about the same size as the ones that he bred so many of those big cats to live in for their entire lives. The relationship between Exotic and Baskin was at the center of the hit Netflix series Tiger King, which became an international sensation in 2020. The series followed Exotic's life and business, as well as his bitter feud with Baskin. I'm Joe Exotic, and we're going to make an honest woman out of this. The series was a sensationalized portrayal of the events and individuals involved, but it did shed light on the controversial world of exotic animal breeding and the larger issues surrounding it. As we take a closer look at the story of Joe Exotic, we will delve into the mystery surrounding his conviction and the evidence presented in court. Exotic supporters have packed the courtroom, some wearing animal print masks and shirts that read free Joe Exotic. His lawyers have announced they would appeal against both the resentencing and petition for a new trial but Joe Exotic still maintains his innocence and claims that he is a victim of a witch hunt orchestrated by Carol Baskin. He has no room to talk, okay, because she belongs here too. In addition to the resentencing, there are new developments in the case of Don Lewis, Baskin's missing ex-husband. Baskin recently made a shocking claim that Lewis is not only alive, but has been found in Costa Rica. My husband, Don Lewis, is alive and well in Costa Rica. This revelation has reignited interest in the decades-old case, and many are questioning whether Baskin had a hand in Lewis's disappearance. Joe Exotic had previously alleged that Baskin fed Lewis to the Tigers. She fed her husband to the Tigers. Lewis was declared legally dead in 2002. Exotic's claims about Lewis's fate is just one of the many bizarre and shocking allegations that have surfaced in the wake of the Tiger King phenomenon. Joe Exotic's story has captivated audiences worldwide with his larger-than-life personality and controversial methods of breeding big cats. However, his story took a dark turn when he was convicted of trying to hire Hitman to kill animal welfare activist Carol Baskin. While the sentence was shortened by one year, his conviction and mistreatment of animals remains a point of contention in the controversial world of exotic animal breeding. As new developments in the case of Don Lewis, Baskin's missing ex-husband continue to unfold, it is clear that the story of Joe Exotic is far from over.